Yep, it's time to take a look at the Red Flex Reef Sump 400 series. This is going to be the new sump going upstairs under my 75 gallon tank, and it does have the custom matching auto top off reservoir. Let's take a quick closer look. What's going on everybody? So I've been talking about it. If you've heard me say it before in other videos, perhaps on a live stream, the Corian sump upstairs is going to be taken down and replaced with this Red Flex reef sump. This is the 400 series. The approximate exact actually measurements from side to side is a whopping 45 inches side to side, 16 inches tall and 14 and a half inches front to back. The auto top off reservoir is the same thing, 16 tall, 14 and a half front to back, and I believe it is 12 inches wide. This is gonna be holding 10 gallons. This thing is awesome. Uh, you guys know I'm a big DIY guy, but I am really becoming a fan of the sumps with the colored acrylic and all that. But you guys can see here, we'll take a look at the auto top off first. So the auto top off reservoir, like I said, is matching does hold 10 gallons it's clear on two sides white on the bottom and the two sides and then on top to match the sump and it has this nice red acrylic lid to match you can send your auto top off feed line through here and the cord for your pump goes over here um, that keeps everything nice and tightly sealed so I really 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 like that super easy pop off the lid pour in the water put it back on I'm sh I'm sure you can uh, you know if you wanted to you will avoid the warranty like I said before in the red flex 4-in-1 video pro clear aquatics sumps are guaranteed for life for life you can take it from house to house put it on different tanks it doesn't matter if something were to have an issue with it you pretty much just take a picture you send it to pro clear aquatic systems and they will ship you out whatever the issue may be if it's the sump or auto top off reservoir you will get a new one in the mail you can't beat it you can't beat that i'm in love with them um i'm gonna have the you know the constant updates on the tank downstairs in the basement with that one on how that's running and this one as well and we'll probably be doing an install video on this for the upstairs tank probably after christmas so let's take the auto top off reservoir move it to the side and move this big sucker over here so, very similar to the other Red Flex, you have your two one inch overflow ports going to your patented silencer. And then you have your three sump sock chamber with again this nice easy lid. Comes off, fits very good. And if you forget to fill, or actually if you forget to replace your sump socks, they do have the overflow here for them. You guys can see here, it's pretty cool, nice little wave design. So three standard four inch sump socks go in there. The skimmer section is gigantic. This is gonna be good because I'll put my skimmer in here and I also wanna be putting my big Marine Pure blocks in here as well. And again, you have the heater guard down there that you can just rest your heater on very very nice it keeps everything out of the way and it keeps it off the bottom of the sump you have your probe holders and then you have the section for your wires for your probes which is really nice you just unscrew this you can move this out of the way put your wires in there put it back and then put it back on keeps the wires nicely held out of the way also you guys I only have two here for now but um, this is for your dosing so you can run your dosing lines to whatever height you want you can run it down low depending on what you're dosing so that's that nice and out of the way now on to the rest of the sump so you have your refugium section it has this nice little pro clear cut out in it it's pretty nice so your water can flow through depending on how much water you have it might be going through it and over top We'll see how this is gonna be when it's set up. So the refugium section is really, really nice. It's about 12 inches side to side, 
and again 14 and a half back and it looks like it's about 12 inches tall I didn't measure everything out accurately because I just unboxed it and I wanted to do a video on it I'm a little excited so then your exit chamber from the refugium this is pretty cool it's an adjustable height so you guys can see here uh, maybe you can't it's uh no yeah you can see on this back side right here where the water will be going through so you can adjust this you just loosen them up you know set your height raise it and lower it to whatever you want it to be and then tighten the screws back up then it will overflow and it does come with this big blue sponge you guys know me I'll be putting in the pinky filters in this section because I just love them they're removable you throw them out and then a very very large return pump section I know this sump may be a little oversized a little overkill for my 75 gallon tank but when I move and upgrade to a bigger tank this sump is good for up to I think it's between four and six hundred gallon system so this will probably be the last sump I will ever need ever lifetime warranty and it's huge it's gonna be the last sump I'll ever need so that's one of the positives about having this big huge sucker um, again nice big return pump section and then you have this little guard here so you can run your return pump wire if you're running a flex hose you can run it through here if you're hard piped, you can run it up and then run multiple wires. I'm going to have my JVJ Auto top off in here, my return pump. I'm going to be having a new in sump reactor that I'll do a video on. It's very similar to the Lifeguard Aquatics top flow that I did. Um, I have the side flow that's going to be going in here, and it's awesome because it's white, so it'll match really, really nice. And another cool thing is, is that I'm going to have that Reef Octopus 130 that's going to go in here that's red and white so it's actually going to look really freaking good um, everything's just by chance going to color match which is pretty cool so uh, I'm very excited about setting this up again it's probably not going to be up until after Christmas I have a lot of stuff going on plus the holidays so I wanted to show you guys I've been talking about the new sump upstairs long enough well here it is the Red Flex 400 reef sump with the auto top off reservoir now the auto top off reservoir is not going to fit under my stand so I got to figure out where this is going to go either next to the tank down in the basement I'm thinking about even maybe putting it on top I'm not sure who knows but I'll find a place for that thing so it's gonna give me so much room in here and now I can actually start a refugium get that going the tank is definitely ready for some macro algae I want to get my light, get everything going. So that's it for now, guys. This is the Red Flex 400 series reef sump. I'll try to do an install video of how I swap everything out. Um, I have all the unions upstairs, so it's going to be an easy swap out. I'm just going to have to measure everything and, you know, pre measure it, get everything glued up. So that way, when I do take out the Corian sump and put this in its place, it'll pretty much be a one, two, three. So thanks for tuning in everybody. Again, it's the end of the video. Let's get a hashtag pro clear aquatics. Thanks for watching everybody. See you guys in the next one.